Let's talk policy loans. Many people in our community love policy loans because you can take your cash value and leverage it toward other opportunities that resonate for you. One question that always comes up is, can I pay more interest toward my policy loan in order to build up my cash value than what the insurance company is charging? And this is a fundamental question. It goes back to the beginnings of infinite banking with Nelson Nash. And we have in-house infinite banking virtuoso, Barry Brooksby. He's gonna talk about how you can do this within certain limitations. And I'll give you a hint. They kind of have to do with what we call a mech. So I'm excited to see this example and the parameters around doing this. Barry, let's jump in. Thank you, Steve. I'm often asked by clients, can I pay my policy loan back at a higher rate? So when we're looking at a high cash value whole life policy, you are able to take policy loans. And yes, the answer is you can pay back policy loans with higher interest. But there is a caveat. And that caveat is you never want to put more money in above the MEC limit, M-E-C, the Modified Endowment Contract Limit. We are going to look at a high cash value whole life policy illustration on a 40 year old. He happens to be a real estate investor, but anyone's able to take policy loans. And the MEC limit on this policy is $130,000 a premium. So the way that he's funding this policy is 30,000 per year. And in the first year, he's putting in a $100,000 lump sum. So $130,000 total premium is going into the policy. In year two, he's putting in the 30,000, but also has the ability to put in another $100,000 lump sum if he wants to, but it's not required. And there is no penalty if he doesn't put in the 100,000. So this is a flexible premium policy. He could keep putting in 130,000 for seven years, or he could reduce the premium down to about $7,000 per year. So there's a really wide range of premium flexibility, as low as 7,000 all the way up to 130,000. Because his MEC limit is 130,000, he can pay loans back at a higher interest rate than the insurance company is charging, but he just wouldn't want to exceed the 130,000 total premium. So for example, in year two, He's sitting on $155,000 of net cash value, and he wants to take a loan this year for $140,000. So we're gonna draw this out. $155,000 of cash value. He wants to take a $140,000 loan and use that money to go buy a real estate property. The great thing about high cash value whole life insurance is when he takes a policy loan, he's still earning compound interest on his $155,000 total. The insurance company doesn't physically remove the $140,000 from his cash value. They put a lien against it. So he's still earning interest and dividends on his $155,000 total cash value. And a few things to note. When you take a policy loan, there's no credit check. There is no application. And the insurance company isn't going to question you, what do you need the money for? They don't care. Because you not only have cash value that you're using as collateral, you also have a permanent death benefit that is used as collateral. The loan rate is 5%. So the insurance company is going to charge you 5% to take the loan that interest does go back to the insurance company. And remember, when you pay back a loan, you're reducing the principal balance of the loan over time. So let's assume that this straight line represents the dollar amount as zero. You take the loan, you pay it back over time. We call this principal reduction. You're paying less interest over time. And I'm gonna show that to you in a calculator in just a moment. So let's put our loan into the calculator. The loan balance of $140,000, loan rate of 5%, and we're gonna show this being paid back over a 10 year time frame, which is 120 months, which means there would be a payment of $1,484 going back to the loan. 
Now you do get to set your loan terms. If you wanna pay this loan back in two years or 20 years, you can do that. For our illustration purposes today, we're going to use a 10 year time frame. The loan payment of $1,484 is going towards interest and principal. And every month that the $1,484 is paid, the balance of the loan is going down, which means the amount of interest being charged is also going down. He's paying less interest over time because of the principal reduction. But now let's say he wants to pay this loan back with a higher interest rate. He says, I wanna pay the loan back at 8%, not five. So I'm gonna pay the insurance company their 5%, but I want that extra 3% going into my policy cash value. And in year two, because he only put $30,000 into the policy, he still has $100,000 of headroom where he can pay back higher interest and he's not going to mech the policy. He could actually pay even higher than 8% interest, 10%, 12%, 24%. We want it to be reasonable. $100,000 is a lot of headroom to pay additional interest. So there's plenty of room in the policy for him to pay the loan back with a higher interest rate. Well, what does that look like? So if he decides now to pay the 8% back instead of the five, his payment is going to change from 1,484 to 1,698. It's only a $214 difference, but now that $214 every single month can go back into his policy cash value. And you might be asking, well, why would I pay a higher interest rate if I'm borrowing money from the insurance company? Well, a lot of people are paying higher interest rates. They're getting leases for equipment. They're getting second mortgages or HELOCs. They are getting hard money loans for real estate deals. They're using private money for real estate deals or for business. Those loans generally have a much higher interest rate, 8%, 12%, 15%, 24%. So if you were going to go borrow money elsewhere and pay higher interest, our recommendation is use your own cash value policy and what we call here the infinite banking concept and pay yourself back the higher interest. That makes more sense. Rather than the third party financial company earning the higher interest, we're showing you a way through the infinite banking concept where you can capitalize on higher interest. You become the bank, you earn that arbitrage, you make more money, and you see your policy cash value growing more rapidly. What I wanna point out is that the 5% payment of 1,484 over that 20 year time frame would have incurred $38,190 of interest. And you see that here. So let's write that down. This was interest that went back to the insurance company at the 5% loan rate. But remember, the $140,000 wasn't physically removed from his policy cash value. It was still earning interest and dividends. And it was earning around a 5% net tax-free return. When we do the math on this and we look at the future value of what that money grew to, we take the 140,000, spread over the same 120 months at the 5% earnings rate inside the policy. So that 140,000 over the 10 year time frame grew to 230,581. When we look at the difference, we have 230,581 minus 140,000. He still earned 90,000 581 on his policy cash value. And when we look at the difference between what he earned and what he paid in interest, we minus out the 38,190. He still came out a positive 52,391. He used his policy as his own bank. 
he comes out ahead $52,000. So even though he's being charged 5% interest and he's earning 5% interest, it might appear that the loan would be a wash. But it's the difference between principal reduction versus compound interest. He comes out ahead over $52,000. But it's even better. If he pays back the loan at the higher interest rate of 8%, Remember, that's $214 per month that was going into the policy. Over the life of the loan, he would have put in an additional $25,640 into cash value. And that money also would have been earning compound interest. So the question, can you pay loans back at higher interest? Yes, you absolutely can, as long as the extra interest does not make the policy. And as you can see here, using your cash value whole life policy and the infinite banking concept as your own bank allows you to create more wealth along the way. Here he's 52,000 positive at 5%. At 8% and the extra $214, that's another 25,000 of extra cash going into the policy. Plus he's going to earn interest and dividends on that. So we're approaching well over $75,000 total by him being his own bank, paying back the loans at a higher interest rate, and creating more wealth along the way throughout his life. We would invite you to look at your own numbers, see how a high cash value whole life policy will work for you. Click the button below to learn more. Check out the Insurance and Estates YouTube channel. We have plenty more videos on high cash value whole life insurance and infinite banking.